life right now and um, what prompted me to start this channel is because of things like this you know how to um, someone has to be a watchman some people have to be watchmen you know um, because of, of the perilous times we are in now many end times people need to be warned and told what to, um, to be careful about certain things and um, especially uh, the special focus is on saved Christians and uh, even the unsaved um, well, saved Christians so they can maintain their salvation uh, because there are a lot of things going out there going around on the uh, social media that if you're not um, if you don't have a spirit of discernment and you're not deeply rooted in Christ okay you can easily be swayed by um, and, and even backslide and there's so many narratives out there so many and um, hidden and evil agendas out there but by the special grace of God uh, with channels like this we will open your eyes prepare you um, and to know the sense this agenda so you can uh, protect your salvation fight uh, the good fight and remember the um, as a Christian the ultimate goal is making it to heaven you know what's, what's the point if you if you achieve everything in this life and at the end of the day as a Christian you miss heaven Right, so uh, that's why we we started this channel, or I started this channel rather. Uh, um, so I'll be reacting to certain um, news. Uh, I think that'll be that's relevant to the Christian faith these days, or whatever is going on in the, Christ, uh, in the Christian world. I'll be preaching on this um, on certain sermons uh, to correct errors and um, to open the eyes of the elect, and also to save souls with a new. A baby Christian, or you 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 you're, you want to be saved? You you're a Christian, but you don't really know how to walk the walk of the Christian walk. Well, if you come to the fiat, if you are, um, come to this channel and watch the videos on a regular basis, it will edify you and help you in your walk, um, Christian walk. Okay, uh, something I I don't know what's going. What is really going on in the church these days? It's um I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I saw this headline, armed men, you see that the armed men attacked St. Martin's Catholic Church in Canberra State amidst ongoing feud. You know, when I first saw this, um, I saw this uh, headline, I thought, I actually thought it was, you know, like the Fulani headline. You know, we have that issue in Nigeria where um, the militants or the terrorists are actually attacking the church. And I was shocked, you know, when I read the content and I saw that really there's a lot of division of the church. You know, and that needs to be corrected. Um, the Bible says that um, Jesus said, actually said it in the Bible. I said one of the, one of the hallmarks of, of the Christians, of the Christians, is that they see us and see that we are united and we love each other. And people look at us as Christians and say, these people are really Christians because of the love they share for each other, the sacrificial love you know, they share they have for each other. So, but we're not seeing that today. A lot of the vision we have the Pentecostal Catholics and this. Let me not digress, okay? Let me just see. Let's read this together. You see, the St. Martin's Catholic Church. Let's scroll down somewhere in Amber State. Uh, the report brings the ongoing crisis between members of St. Martin's Catholic Church and the citizens of Ihala has taken a dangerous turn as heavily armed men invaded and attacked the premises of the church on Thursday night. Right. The mission could not be ascertained immediately, but it was gathered that the armed men sus suspected to be members of the Anambra Vigilante group. Now, now you can see that the the fight is between um, it seems like it seems like uh, the Vigilante group and the, the church or something like that. But if you read further, when, when you read further, you find out it's not. It's even much deeper than that. Now let's continue. Uh, where were led uh, into the church premises by two reverend fathers. Now you said, you said that they were led into the church by two reverend fathers. Two reverend fathers. All right. So it's not like um, that outsider coming. In. Obviously, these are insiders, the reverend fathers uh, coming in and bringing in using the vigilante group you know, to attack the church. Now, one of them, the priest of a new parish created recently by the bishop. Of Neri Diocese, most Reverend Jonas Benson Okoye. Now you see, obviously, there's an infighting, and obviously, there's a, that's, there are factions breaking from the church. All right, it's, instead of being united, you know, and, and, and all that, and you can see the division in the church. And not only that, you know, with this kind of behavior, if someone from the outside who wants to convert to Christianity and sees the way these people are behaving, they won't want to be in 
part of the church. You know, I hear a lot of people talk about uh, they, can't, they can't, they just, they just they can't actually just hate, they hate Christians because of the way Christians actually behave towards towards each other. The hate is too much. How can you call yourself Christians and when you hate each other, when you're supposed to love each other? The Bible says that God is love. You know, God is love. And the Bible says that if you if you say you love God and you hate your fellow man, you you're you're a liar. So if you you come to church, you pray, you do all the stuff, and you, these guys are even reverend for these are supposed to be leaders in the church, and yet they're hating each other. So what kind of example would they give to their other their their, their members, the church members? You can you imagine what's going on? So let's read further. So um, it was um, like um, um, okay, an eyewitness said, an eyewitness said, I saw the armed men in black attire covering their faces. They also tied the security men who were guarding the church while and took their telephones away from them. Okay. All right, let's read further. Let's read further. Um, the parish priest of the church, the parish priest of the church being attacked now. All right, so it's uh, Reverend Father Val Eze confirmed the incident saying the men were still occupying the church premises as about as at, as at 9 uh, 15 p.m. on Thursday, but did not approach the residence of the priest. I wonder why why he didn't approach that, approach the residence of the priest, because the, the priest actually lives in the church. So these people came into the church but did not go to um noting uh also that the priest who resides in the parish has not been celebrating masses in maybe according to the fathers of not cooperating with the diocese in resolving certain issues, including attempts to create new parish out of St. Martin. So St. Martin is the church in question here, all right? And obviously, from what, what we've read, you see there's a few from within the church, all right, where some, some obvious they kind of take over um, trying to go uh, happen. They actually did a lot of this obviously like disagreement and some church fraction of the church are trying to break out and then you know um, start and they obviously started another parish or still still ongoing. So you can see from what you see a lot of jealousy envy, a lot of uh, fighting and a lot of hate going on here. So my, my, my problem is that these people are supposed to be you know um, leaders you know um, Christians, um, no wonder the, the moral decadence, not just in Nigeria, but also outside Nigeria, all over the world, okay, um, people, I, I think people have been church hurt, and when people see this and they get disappointed in the church, and it now, it now drives them to go into other, to try other religions to seek God, because they don't believe that uh, people of God should be behaving like this, because they're coming from that kind of environment where there's a lot of jealousy living in the world and they want to come to uh, uh, a place where they, they, they really expect it to be holy, where they expect to get more, get, get, get to be mentored and get better examples. But they come to a place and they see chaos, they see the same thing. So they, they, they go to other kind of religion that even if they have this false holiness about them, they're, they're, they're misleading and they're not, um, they're not uh, religions are not of God because we know Christianity is the only religion that leads you through Jesus Christ, that leads you to God. Because you see, there's so many religions, so there's so many ways to God. That's not true. It's only Christianity that offers us that direct. In fact, right now, you know, if you see religion, people trying to seek God. If you look at, if you go through the history of religion, you see people trying to seek God, people trying to find God. People, Think that God is in, in a tree. They think that God is in a in a wooden thing that they carve out, carved out. You know, they, do, I, I, they, they just want to submit themselves to a more superior being. And sometimes they want to not only do that; they want to pray to this superior being to help them out in their natural lives. They want supernatural help. So you see these people going to all sorts of religions, you know. But God, uh, God actually designated one true religion and that's Christianity through his son Jesus Christ who came to die for you and I so that we might be saved and the Bible says um, uh, Jesus himself said in John 14 6 that I am the way the truth and the life 
no one cometh unto the Father except through me. That's why Christianity is the religion that everybody should go to. But when they, they, we, they really, we, we say all these things and say that to them, then they come and look at our lives, how we live our lives on a daily basis, and they see a lot of chaos. And similar to um, and where, where they're coming from, they, they, they just lose faith totally. And they just go on and do some, even going to Satanism, Satan worship, and all that, because it, they get hurt and get disappointed. Because of things like this, as Christians, we are supposed to be the light. We are supposed to be the light of the world. All right. So you can't expect someone who's coming from darkness to come and see another darkness here. The church needs to repent. Um, that's why, to me, there's a uh, there's a lot of judgment coming into countries, into our country, into our lives because of this kind of behavior. You know. And I'm telling you, God is not here. God is not in this church because God is not here. But God is not an author of confusion. So um, um, you need to repent as a church. You need to repent as Christians. You need to be, 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 be more consecrated and put Christ first in everything that we do. You need to ask yourself a question. What will Christ do when you come to a tough situation? Sometimes people get you angry. People get you, you know, annoyed. What do you do? You do what Christ will do. You forgive your brother. You forgive. All right, so you can move move forward sometimes. All right, you have a heart of love because you have a heart of love. You'll be hating and fighting. I mean, imagine this guy is going. This is the exit of bringing armed men, you know, to come and you know try to tie people up. You know, who knows? You know, you could even get to a point where they could even shoot someone and kill somebody. Okay, so uh, this is something we should not we should we should uh, start correcting the church because people are watching us. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll leave, I'll end this um, topic, I don't want it to be too long, uh, but I want to end it with, um, if you're listening to this for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos, and more videos are coming up, trust me, I'll be analyzing so many other, other things, and I'll be uh, doing some sermons also that will help to edify you. If you need prayers, if you're new in the work of Christ, and you need prayers, and you, want, you, can, you can send me a message, I'll pray with you so you can continue, you can grow in your Christian faith. Uh, my name remains Roland. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you and um, keep shining for Christ.